Hi, welcome back to Valley News Live. We still have that first alert weather day today. Even though that snow has stopped falling for the most part, we're still seeing it fly around. And of course, that dangerous cold has pushed into the area now. A look here in Fargo shows that uh, low visibility thanks to those flakes that are flying around from that wind that is howling out of the north and we have a wind chill advisory in effect for much of the area where you see those light blue colors that pink down in the south that is a remnant of that blizzard warning still continuing as visibilities are still very low across the area and a look at the satellite and radar shows that last band of snow pushing off to the north kind of tapering down and becoming a bit more scattered so we'll see some flurries throughout the rest of the day for folks in the north and those winds those winds are still an issue, blowing at about 15 to 25 miles an hour for most people out of the north, with gusts a little bit higher in some places, 31 miles an hour for folks in Sisseton. And that's thanks to, or that's going to cause some visibility issues as those flakes that we saw are going to start to be blown all around here in Fargo. We just saw we have visibility of about a quarter of a mile in the north. Things are looking all clear for folks up there, but down in the southeastern corner of North Dakota, we're still seeing plenty of issues, particularly along that I-29 corridor. That's why we're seeing that highway still closed and temperatures are going to start to fall throughout the day. Those coldest temperatures out to the northwest where we're at 11 below for folks in Devil's Lake and out to the east, we're still trying our best to hold on to those positive temperatures, but those wind chills, those wind chills are going to become an issue out to the east. We're sitting at about uh, 10 to 20 below, but in the west, we're going to see those wind chills of 30 below or even 40 at times. Now, as we continue watching through the rest of the evening or afternoon, we're going to watch that last band of snow push off to the north and to the east. And by the evening, we should see most places not seeing any more falling snow, though that that blowing snow will continue to be an issue through the rest of the evening until that wind starts to taper down, those green arrows turning blue and then eventually moving off the screen. Now, uh, as we move overnight, we're going to see a bit of a clearing sky, but that will cause temperatures to fall as those clouds act as a blanket, but you remove that blanket, things get very chilly by morning. Much of the Devil's Lake Basin sitting at 20 below here in Fargo, 21 below and it's only cold all over the place. Those wind chills pushing 30 or even 40 below at times. By lunchtime, we'll see a bit more cloud cover push on in from the south and temperatures will be right around 10 below for most. And as we move throughout the afternoon into the evening, we'll be see a bit of a south wind, though that won't warm things up at all. We have a chance for some evening flakes pushing across the northern valley and we're just going to be missed by some to the south as well, but nothing too substantial there. Now, as we move into the later part of today, we're going to see about of a less than an inch, maybe a trace in some places of snow. Tomorrow morning, dangerous cold, so make sure you spend some extra time uh, bundling up in the morning so you don't get caught out. Now we have that first alert weather day today. Even though that snow is winding down, we're going to continue seeing that blowing snow and cold temperatures tomorrow all the way through Saturday morning. But we have a bit of a warm up getting up into those 20s by the time we get into next week. And then the week past that, we're going to stay in those 20s. And by next Sunday, we could even see 30 degrees. Ooh, if we could only stay that way from that point on. Yeah, maybe <laughs> by that time it might be spring. So. Okay, well, <laughs> we like the sound of that. All right. Thank